Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede Backyard Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. I would like to wish a happy Earth Day to everyone who's viewing this video and all backyard gardeners around the world. It is Earth Day 2016 and as part of Earth Day 2016, I would actually like to feature all the trees in the backyard garden so that you could see them. I will not give much details about them but we will count them together. So most of the trees in the backyard garden, they told me they are dwarf plants, example this one right here. This tall gigantic plant, they told me when I purchased it at the agricultural center that it's a dwarf. I don't know what went wrong. I don't know if I planted it on the wrong moon. If I pruned it wrong, most likely not pruning. I am very good at the pruning, so it's not pruning. Most likely it's the wrong moon, maybe. So with no further ado, let me just feature all the trees in the back of garden. And when I say trees, I don't mean trees that will last for at least two years. I mean fruit trees, trees that will stay there. When you prune it, it will actually send new branches, new leaves, and produce more fruits for you. So these are the plants that we are going to feature on Earth Day 2016 in Agro Suede Bucket Garden. Let's go ahead. So this is the first one on the list, the dwarf avocado tree. Doing pretty well, for sure. I must say it must be a dwarf because it's almost three years now and it's very short. Although I pruned it, I pruned it before right there as you can see I pruned it before but it's very short but it started to send a lot of new leaves somewhere in January it started to send a lot more new leaves so hopefully it will start to grow a bit and produce soon enough and of course this is our golden apple it's very 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 much a productive tree if you remember that I pruned it when I was building the greenhouse and it actually started to produce on the end where I pruned it so that's very good and it's producing way up there so this is tree number two in the back of the garden tree number three tree number three is also uh, another golden apple except this one is a dwarf as you can see it's not very tall it's already producing it's very short this one is a dwarf I'm very much happy with this one also, also I pruned it I can only turn sure that you mean a dwarf. It's flowering again. It's flowering again, as you can see. So that's tree number three. And this is a gigantic tree number four. Allegedly a dwarf, as I've told you before in another video. But this is a dwarf, apparently. And I will eventually cut it almost half its height down for a very particular reason. I'm going to plant some more planting trees in the yard, so I need to cut it down for sunlight for more sunlight around the garden but this is tree number four the mighty carambola or star fruit supposedly a dwarf so this is the tree very tall if i could climb it i would climb it for you know dwarf carambola tree so on to tree number five now tree number five you might be familiar with this one i agree so i did a video about it planting it this is the guan Bana or sour sub tree it's also growing taller than i expected and i think it's because of the amount of trees in the yard so they're all growing out for sunlight but eventually when i prune or cut this cambola tree by half its height all the other trees will get a lot more sunlight and they will stop growing as quick as they are so this is the guan Bana tree this tree is able to cure or to prevent cancer even the leaves by boiling the new leaves and drinking it so this is tree number five the guan Bana or sour sop tree now tree number six the guava actually this is tree number six and seven because there are actually two guava trees growing together this one that you're seeing is the hybrid it's the, usually the big guava the very big ones so this is it. This is tree number seven. It's very, very much small. There it is. It's growing next to. Oh, all this is part of tree number seven actually. It's growing next to tree number six. This is a small guava. The fruit should be very small. Of course, tree number eight. You might be familiar with it. I did a video very much recently about it. That is the cherry. Right now, almost giving an update on it. It have actually stopped producing. We have all the cherries. I have to prune this one too. So I have to do a lot of pruning. A lot of pruning in the racket garden. So this is tree number eight, the cherry tree. So tree number nine, the grand banana. Very much short and new in the garden. Tree number 10, they are the coconut trees. I would say 10 and 11, I suppose, because this is one right here, the coconut tree in the backyard garden. And here is it. Here's the brother over there. 
so this is tree number 10 and this here is tree number 10 am i counting correctly i hope i'm counting correctly so this is tree number 10 no this is tree num this is tree number 11 isn't it this is tree number 11 the other palm tree or the other coconut tree tree number 11 in the back it got this is to protect the plants from the crabs so it's doing pretty well or oh, pomegranate and um it's two i think going together yes two of them so i'm just happy with this one so this is the final main fruit tree in the bucket garden long term tree of course this is the last one tree number 12. do i plan on growing more trees i don't will i grow more trees most likely i will so these are the trees for earth day 2016 in agri-sweet backyard garden so thank you very much for liking our video thank you for subscribing to our youtube channel thank you all those of you who have liked our facebook page i'd like to encourage you to grow a tree in your backyard garden or not just in your backyard garden but around your home in your community in your country just plant a tree because this is how we're going to save our planet especially from climate change remember the backyard garden in some way will keep the doctors away and agri-sweet is out